Hello, this is Mark from Productive Computing and Productive Computing University. We're talking about a new feature called WebRTC, which is fancy for Web Real-Time Communications. It's the ability for a browser to understand and interpret when communications happen for meetings or for things where there's an interaction, a video interaction or a chat interaction. So an example of this would be Zoom. If you wanted to include Zoom in a web viewer in FileMaker for whatever reason, up till now, it wasn't really possible. Let me explain what I mean. First, we have here on the left side of the screen, this is FileMaker Pro version 20.3.2, which correlates with FileMaker 2023. And here I have a web viewer looking at a NASA website. And you can see that it's, it's robust. It allows interaction. I can zoom in. I can find planets for Jupiter, for example. Again, this is all websites. So in a sense, I'm looking at a website inside my FileMaker sol solution. This is nothing new, and it's been with us for a long time now. But it is just showing you the power of a web viewer in general. So now here comes the new version. This is FileMaker 2024. And what I'll do is I will open that up and I will piggyback off of this. So FileMaker 20 is the host and I'll be a guest. So here you can see we're using version 21 and I've got the same exact website. I can interact with it in the same way. And because this is one file being shared between the two different versions of FileMaker, whenever I change the URL, it will change the URL for both of them. So by having both versions side by side on the screen, we can do a comparison as far as functionality goes. So if I were to go to claris.com on one, it would bring me to the same website on both. Okay, now let's put some challenges up. I'm going to start a Zoom meeting on my computer. Okay, there's the Zoom meeting. I'm going to join that Zoom meeting, and then I'm going to invite a participant. So I'll copy the invite link. Now I'll move the Zoom meeting main screen out of the way and I'll use that link and paste it here into this file. Already we start to see some differences here. With the older version of FileMaker, it immediately says Zoom may not be supported in your browser because it knows ahead of time that the browser isn't gonna have enough power to deliver the meeting. But in the new version of FileMaker, it says click allow on the dialog so I can launch the meeting. Now, if I did click this launch meeting, I believe I'd still need the Zoom application loaded on my computer and it would actually go outside of FileMaker and load a meeting just like it would if I was looking at this through an email link or through a browser and click launch meeting. It's going to launch the native application of Zoom. However, there's a feature down here that says having issues with Zoom workspace app join from your browser. So I will go ahead and join from the browser here in FileMaker. I do have to allow and give permission like I would on any other app. But here I am, this is a mirror image of me on my green screen in the Zoom meeting being hosted by me. It's me and me. So this demonstrates that the all new web viewer in the latest version of FileMaker supports real-time communication. Now, would you ever have reason to run a Zoom meeting from within FileMaker? Maybe yes, maybe no, but there are other communication apps that you definitely might, especially if you were doing telemed and you had an app that did that, you might wanna have a screen sharing session with somebody directly in the app so that you can have the outside of that screen either prompting people to click a button for additional functionality or help them, whatever it is that the app needs to do. So it's a potential and a possibility that was not there before. And I think having a Zoom meeting is a quick and easy way to demonstrate this, that this web viewer is really much better or much more advanced than the previous one.